Welcome back to part two of this $5,000 paint job recap. And if this is your first time here, my name is Timo, and this is The Timo Show, where we bring you along on our journey to being a self-employed CEO. And I'm just a regular guy trying to make it happen. So stick around and don't go anywhere. All right, guys, so I have ADD real bad, and managing multiple streams of income uh, seems to like really help me out with the ADD. So it's actually become like, it's become like my superpower. So smash that like button and punch that subscribe button to join the Team Dino as we smash through roadblocks and punch through obstacles on our journey to success. So make sure to hit the bell so you know to get notified when I release a video and you won't miss out on me uh, conquering these everyday struggles that we run into. But before we get started, I wanted to mention that um, I provided Amazon links to all of my equipment that I use in the description box below. So if you click any one of those links and purchase anything within a 24 hour period, I will earn a very small commission, which I'll use to upgrade all my filming equipment and bring you guys better content. And I'll greatly appreciate you for that. Also, if you need help generating leads or estimating jobs, or you have like specific questions that you need answers to, I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching and I'll leave a link in the one-on-one uh, -on -one phone coaching calls and I'll leave a link in the description box below as well so all right let's get into it so this job here I got it's actually a reoccurring client um, I had a video that I made a while back where I actually locked my keys in my truck and I had to call the fire department and um, I actually need to buy those guys some donuts I was planning on buying those guys donuts for that but but anyhow uh, yeah so a video where I locked my keys in my truck I was painting a bedroom so that job actually turned into another job which turned into a pressure washing job and then now it turned into I'm painting his daughter's house so they're getting ready to move out of this place and uh, part one of this video was me removing all the popcorn ceiling now I typically prefer to do all the texture work before painting but I had run into some issues on this project so I brought my hopper which is a machine that you use to spray texture but I forgot to bring my little attachments to go on the tip and this day the whole plan was to shoot the texture on the ceiling get it all primed and, and, and ready to go and then paint the walls I wanted to get going painted on the walls but I was having issues and I wasted most of the morning messing with the stinking texture and I just decided you know what we could do is after the paint's dry we'll wrap the walls and we'll shoot the texture which is a, it's kind of a backwards way to do it but there are times when you get a job like this and you can't paint the walls or tech, you know, you just get hired to only remove the texture and put new texture on, if that makes sense. So it's really not a big deal. It's just one extra step in the process, but it helped me out because I needed to get going. I needed to get paint up on the walls to keep the project rolling, if that makes any sense. Also on this project, I ran into another little issue. So they have a cat. Actually, they have about five cats. One cat of which is a declawed cat and it's not allowed outdoors. So I was being very diligent about keeping the door closed, coming in and out. It's kind of a bummer because it was one of the first uh, the first couple days that I was there. And you know, with that, you got to bring in a lot of tools. So I think the cat, there was a point where they called me and they said the cat was out. But I'm like, I don't think the cat got out because I honestly never saw the cat. There was a day where the cat was in the closet and the homeowner's dad, the actual client who hired me to paint, had said, hey, have you seen the black cat? And I'm like, you know, I have not seen this black cat. I've heard of the black cat, but I haven't seen the black cat. So we said, well, it was in the master bedroom closet. So we go peek in the closet. I don't see the cat at first. He comes in the closet and then we look a little better and the cat is actually in the closet. A, a stark black kitten. Well, not a kitten, it's a cat. But she was hiding in the corner. I couldn't even see her. So he shoot her out of the closet and you know i did the one thing that you're not supposed to do i made an assumption i assumed that he had put her away like somewhere safe but i think he just let her out or whatever the case was so um i think after that point maybe i wasn't being as diligent by keeping the door the screen door closed and um, we thought she got out so the homeowners called me and they were really upset with me um and and that's a bummer and I felt horrible because, you know, I am an animal lover. I do like animals, as you know. I always have my dog Zelda at the end of every single video. So if you like golden retrievers, make sure, you know, stick around to the end of the video, see my golden. But I felt horrible and I spent, you know, a couple hours really looking around for that cat, looking under the beds and looking everywhere. So I heard a little jingle on the third day or whatever day I was there. I heard a jingle like um, like a bell, like a bell caller, like a caller with the bell on it. So I called the homeowner. I said, hey, does the cat that's missing have a bell on its collar? Because I keep hearing this bell sound. So he calls the daughter, calls me back. And long story short, um, the cat 
that was missing is the only cat with a bell. So that was a good sign. That means the cat was cruising around, hanging around the house somewhere. So long story short, let me just cut to the chase. The cat had never left the house. The cat was inside the whole time. So that's just amazing. You know, I'm really glad that that all worked out because I was super, super bummed. I told my wife and my daughter and they were kind of mad at me. So, but they don't have to be mad anymore because we found the kitty and everything's going good. So uh, we're getting ready to wrap this uh, project up on the inside. We'll have a little bit of touching up to do and then we'll have to move on to the outside. So I think the next episode will be a little walkthrough of the inside of the job once it's complete and then we'll get started on the outside. So there'll be some pressure washing footage for the outside. There'll also be um, us painting the outside. Um, also, before we get too much further in the video, I wanted to address a couple questions that I had on one of my Instagram DMs. I had somebody comment or send me a DM asking me, how do I go about having clients be recurring clients? Because the, basically what he was saying was, once you paint a job, like how, how much time has to go by before you repaint the job? Now, keep in mind that, okay, let me, let me see how to answer this question. Okay, so basically what typically will happen was I'll get, I'll get hired for something small, say a door. Can you paint my front door? I'll come, I'll paint the front door, I'll do all my little tactics that I do to befriend the people, show them that I have, I'm a quality craftsman, that I'm really good at my work and I take pride in my work. And I do what I say, like I say I'm going to show up at 9, I show up at 9. If I say I'm going to show up at 7, I show up at 7. So I just try to stick to my word, do my best, make sure that I'm punctual, show up on time, and just be accommodating, you know. So typically what happens, I'll get hired for like a small door, I'll do all those things that we just talked about they'll hire me to come paint a bathroom. So then I'll come back and I'll paint a bathroom. And I do the same thing and then they'll, they'll hire me to, oh, can you you know do cabinets, can you do? And it just rolls on from there. So every opportunity that you get potentially will turn into a new opportunity. So um, that was a question I had on the DM. Um, if you're watching, I hope that helps answer the question um, because you know there's inside of a house, outside of the house, every house has bedrooms. And sometimes the styles change, trends change and people just want different colors on their walls. So I appreciate you guys sticking around. If you made it this far in the video, please put um, so clean in the comment section for me and I'll hashtag you guys Team Dino. So thanks a lot, you guys. really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for me and hit that bell notification. That way you will get notifi notified whenever I release a video. And uh, yeah, so make sure to go see part one. Here's some footage from uh, part one of me removing the texture super satisfying so if you like satisfying videos head back to part one and watch that you can watch it in any order it doesn't really matter all right guys see you in the next video thanks for watching